Artemis Launch Control. The excitement of launch day ultimately fizzled into an all systems no. You don't want to light the candle until it's ready to go. If tricky weather and lightning strikes in recent days weren't enough, last minute issues sprang up with one of the rocket's four engines. The team was tired at the end of the day and we just decided that it was the best to knock it off. Each launch costs an estimated four billion U.S. dollars. The price tag of the entire Artemis mission, 93 billion. The end goal is to send humans to the moon and set up bases for long-term exploration. But the first step is a trial run. The next window to launch an uncrewed test flight is Friday. We're not ready to give up yet. At a viewing party at the Edmonton Science Center, the cancellation left astronomy fans feeling a bit let down. Kind of disappointing, but that's okay. This is really the first big, big mission by NASA since who knows when. Half a century, in fact. 1972 was the last time humans walked on the moon. More powerful than the Saturn V used during the Apollo years, the Artemis rocket is the most complex ever built. That's why engineers want to iron out all the issues without humans on board. We're used to these delays in, the, in, this, in this business because it's so dangerous, it's so complicated. He speaks from experience. David Saint-Jacques spent 204 days on the International Space Station. The little boy in me is disappointed. I wanted to see the excitement of a rocket launch, this great new rocket, the beginning of a new era of exploration, back to the moon, ultimately eventually to Mars. But the sober engineer in me, you guys, whew, glad that someone found that problem. Better to work out the kinks now before astronauts climb aboard. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.